Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4s, where you're playing with the Kaiserreich mod as Cis Lithenian Austria. Uh, we have to hurry up and become Austria hungry, so I don't have to say that anymore. Um, so yeah, how was your guys' weekend? Mine was pretty good. I worked on Sunday, uh, but Saturday was my daughter's birthday, so that was a lot of fun. But you, you dear viewer, how was your weekend? Love to hear about it in the comments. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, a few things to address, you know, that have been coming up in the comments before we go to war with Armenia here. Um, so. Uh, first of all, people keep asking when are we gonna become Austria hungry? Um, and I know people skip around videos and stuff. You know they don't watch a whole 30 minute video because that you know then everybody has 30 minutes to, to watch a whole video, so people skip through it and stuff. And then they miss kind of you know some key things every once in a while. Uh, we can't become Austria hungry, guys. This is not an option for us um, because if you look down here at the two that would allow us to be to get to this one here, this one requires you to be at 1947. Um, obviously, we are not at 1947, and this one re does require us to be at war uh, with one of those countries there, uh, which we will be at war with uh, Italy and Germany, maybe even Russia, uh, but we're not at this moment. Uh, we can go either route here. Um, you know, this one doesn't lock either one, so, so yeah, that is the goal, so that we can get down here and um, become... Uh, become Austria hungry, uh, but yeah, that's that's not an option at this moment. We're gonna have to wait uh, until we go to war. Um, which, yeah, I, I don't I don't know exactly when that's gonna be when we'll go to war with one of those countries because right now we're gonna be attacking Armenia and the next will probably be Spain. That's the plan anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and get. Oh yes, yes, one more thing uh, before we get started here. Somebody wanted to take a look at all the wars that are currently going on. There's only four wars right now. Um, there's this the Mongolian one here. Um, we're not gonna look at the stats. I want to look at the stats to all of them. We're not gonna look at the stats at all of them. We're just gonna look at some of the key ones here, like the Japanese uh, general war. I think would be important to look at the uh, casualties and stuff here uh you can see that uh hawaii is 21 percent towards the picture i thought they already capitulated maybe japan saved them um just looking at their casualties 1.45 million for empire japan germany's lost 600,000. uh so yeah and a lot of other a lot of casualties on this side actually uh, but yeah, the the uh, losers right now are clearly the Japanese when it comes to their their losses. You can see they've lost a ton more men. Um, they have a lot less men fielded as well. So yeah, we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, we'll go take a look at that war actually in a minute here. Uh, just looking at the casualties between these two, pretty equal. In the American Union state and the combined syndicalist, that's what's kind of left of the American Civil War right now. And then we have the German-Georgian War, which I don't know even how this happened here or why it happened. Very weird. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we're looking at right now. Uh, just just looking at the Japanese German war it still seems like it's just been yeah just just been a stalemate nothing really happened over here and then as for the Civil War um, I think the syndicalists are gonna be losing that very soon which is a good thing uh, something we wanted uh, this is weird um, okay looks like Oklahoma here went to the Pacific States of America yeah that's that's strange okay let's go ahead and get started guys we're gonna be going to war with Armenia in this episode this could end up being very bad because what I've heard is that Russia will defend anybody in this area uh, so we might end up at war with Russia uh, I don't know let's hope they don't but I mean they don't even have a border with us I mean, I, I don't know, guys, because, yeah, there's no border with us. They're not even anywhere down here. That'd be really weird, them thinking that this is still their sphere of influence. But, you know, Russia does weird things. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, declare war. We're ready to go. Um, so I also got that event for um, the Ottomans as soon as I loaded up the game. Uh, and I clicked the same option we've been clicking. It didn't work, um, as it hasn't been. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the issue with that is. But... Uh, maybe it'll fix itself once we conquer this area here, uh, and then also we could just create uh, the Ottomans ourselves. Um, we could always, you know, just um, you know, oops, click the wrong thing here. We could always just release them if we wanted to, uh, but I, I don't know if we're gonna do that. Let me just wait a minute. Hmm, I'm not even seeing the Ottomans in here. Yeah, maybe that's not gonna be an option for us. Yeah, because I'm not seeing any option for releasing the Ottomans. Hmm. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna have an option here. I don't know. Let's let's conquer the rest of this territory, guys. Why? Oh, okay. There's no. They don't have a core here. Oh, that's really weird. Okay. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens, guys. Let's go ahead and, and get to invading here. Uh, get our troops moving. Uh, once again, they they placed our troops in odd areas. Our mountain troops. That's okay though. Um, let's get these guys flying over here first, though. Like so. And I think we have some more down here. And I thought we had assigned. Oh yeah, that's right. It wasn't large enough yet. Oopsie, my bad. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that. Let's give them some close air support. So they're not gonna have any close air support from the the start of the the of uh, the mission here, but that's okay. Uh, we are just gonna do 
we'll let them upgrade themselves because I'm, I'm lazy. All right, so we're going to assign these guys to do some close air support over here. They need to be assigned to right there. All right, awesome. Uh, it seems that none of these guys are assigned. Okay, uh, let's fix that. There we go. Uh, so 400 and 400, I think that'll be enough. Uh, we are going to attempt to see, now that we're at war with Armenia, if we can change our mobilization. No, it doesn't look like we can. They do not have enough factories. Okay, I was kind of worried about that. Maybe when we go to war with Spain, we'll be able to uh, change that up. Um, what we could do, we could change something else up, though, since we can't do that. Uh, could grab the last one here. Oh, we're, wait we're waiting on that. That's right. We are going to be getting that now, uh, soon. So we'll wait to to get that before we before we use the uh, political experience uh, or political power. Excuse me. All right, let's go into attack here. Uh, we're going to attack with all these divisions here. Um, you know what? Hmm. And probably behoove us. I wonder if these guys can attack there. They can. I would love to get these guys cut off here. So you know what? Hmm. Yeah, that'd be the best place to cut them off. We're gonna cut them off right there, guys. I think that would be wise. Let's go ahead and have them start attacking. Uh, we're gonna bring all these troops in here. We're gonna bring the tanks in as well, even though they are attacking in the mountains. It is fine. All right, let's get that area taken right there. Uh, we're also gonna launch an invasion into this way. Uh, let's see if we can just get all the troops cut off. It's a possibility, so let's attempt to do it. Uh, we'll attack over there. Uh, and then we're also gonna launch attacks over this way. Uh, looks like they're launching attacks up in the north, but that's okay. Uh, and we're good there. Let's go ahead and support with these troops. Uh, and then anything else that we need to do over here that we can do. Uh, launching a lot of attacks right now, so not a lot of things open. Uh, they're launching a lot of attacks at, at us, I should say. Uh, let's go ahead and have... All right, these guys are clearly not going to win. We're going to attempt to attack there. We can win there. Let's go ahead and send the tanks in as well. Uh, we could probably launch some attacks over this way, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that's not not perfect, but we'll give them a little bit of support here. We're going to send these guys in as well and support with these troops. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and lock these troops down so they can't can't attack us here. Uh, um, yeah, there we go. Let's go and get that, that, that troops moving forward. Looks like we did get these troops over here cut off, which is awesome to see. Stop doing whatever you're doing. Just attack these guys and destroy them, please. Get them wiped out. Thank you. All right, get these guys attacking that way, and then uh, we're going to send these guys over here. All right, excellent. Just push forward, please. Send these guys this way. And I don't know exactly what you guys are doing, but what I want you to do... Oh, we got all these troops cut off. That is beautiful. I like that. I like it a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and have you guys attack this way. Push forward, please. Got the tanks moving over here. We're going to try and combine our two fronts here. Um, I think that would be helpful. Uh, looks like we can also move forward here a little bit, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what kind of terrain we have all in these areas. These mountain troops need to come up over this way. Uh, let's just have these guys attack. Uh, they can attack right there, sure. Why not? And we'll have these guys support that attack. All right, lovely. We did move uh, forward here. We're going to attempt to to go uh, kind of quickly here, I think, is what... Well, no, we're going to move in front of our uh, fronts too much. Don't want to do that. Um, yeah. All right, so there's really no rush here, guys, to get an Arminia attacked. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really rushing it. It's fine. We, we're going to we're gonna be smart um, with, our, with our troops. And let's go ahead and move forward all around these guys. Uh, we will... Well, we can't move those guys forward. We can bring these tanks in, though. Uh, they can attack and go this way. All right, awesome. So looking pretty good over here. Uh, can we move the front forward? And this is all um, a little bit messed up. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to delete um, this line here. We're just going to combine, combine these two lines. Don't need two lines anymore now that we're past the lake here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're also going to change this up. Um, oh, Got to get off this, this uh, delete here. Change that up, fix it like that. Looking good. And we're going to go ahead and need to assign... Um, most of these troops, I'm thinking, um, they're going to have to come onto this front here. Come on, guys. Uh, anybody not currently on there. With the exception of the troops that are over here. The six divisions here, they can stay there. All right, looking good. Um, let's keep on pushing the front forward here. We're going to go ahead and try and get these troops cut off here if we can. Uh, we will lock them down right now. Move forward, men. Attack. All right, we're going to go ahead and attack over here as well. See where we can get some wins. Um, we're going to bring these troops over this way. Uh, and you guys come that way. Excellent. And you're going to push forward over there. Okay. Just pushing forward on all fronts here. Uh, go ahead and support with those guys. Uh, and then we still need to wrap this up here. Just get it finished up, please. Um, we're going to bring you guys this way as well. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'd rather have you guys attack that way. And bring the tanks over here. All right. And then these tanks can go that way. Yes, sirree. 
You guys are gonna come. Well, what do we got going over here? All right, I thought it was saving or something, but nope, wasn't saving. Let's go and take, uh, keep pushing forward here. Um, where else can? Okay, we're behind these guys. Let's take that point right there and try and get up around them. We got some troops here that are attempting to uh, retreat this way. That is not what I want. Uh, what we will do instead? Hmm. Let me just see here. Let's have you guys come up over this way. Um, yeah, that'll work. All right, excellent. So these guys got to get their organization up. Um, let's bring bring them over that way as well. All right, just attempting to move forward. Um, it seems done with this. Got all those troops destroyed. They can't possibly have very many troops. Just take a look at how they're doing right now. Uh, they are currently 15 divisions is all they have right now. Just taking a look at the casualties already inflicted on them. They've already lost 121,000 men. We've lost 4,000. Uh, yeah, I would say we're kicking their ass right now. <laughs> they're not doing so well. Um, so we were talking about how we've been doing like really, really well uh, in this uh, in this series so far with all the conflicts, and I think a large part of that is because I've been manually controlling all of the units. Uh, you know, that's just the best way to do it. Just unfortunately, you can't can't do that all the time. Uh, we are going to go ahead and upgrade artillery. Let me just see here what we have um, uh, for tech bonuses. I'll make sure that we're not missing any. No, I think all we can really get is the mountain bonus. Okay, so uh, yeah, there's really no reason not to research anything that we might want to get here. Uh, let me just go ahead and sweep through here because I haven't played in a couple days, so I'm not entirely sure where we're looking at what you know what we need to get here. I think we need to continue down these branches here. We're already working on uh, land doctrine. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna get, guys. We have all our planes. Good to go on that area. Good to go over here. Yeah, so let's continue on the artillery stuff. We're gonna get improved artillery upgrade two. I'm going to get them improved, and I just heard Jinx open the door, so my wife is home. Um, yeah, we're going to try and take that. That's okay. If there's troops there, I don't care. Uh, move back behind these guys. Uh, not attack them. I'm going to try and get behind them. Okay, excellent. And we're going to bring these these guys over this way. Uh, and is there anything else? Oh, we can also bring troops this way. Uh, let's bring these tanks over here. Uh, let's just get up behind them all. Um, damn, we're going to have to attack across the river here. That's unfortunate, but it looks like the troops are rather weak. So, yeah, there's that. Um... All right, let's attack them there. Get them pushed back. Okay, excellent. We're all wrapped up behind these guys. Should have them all cut off momentarily. Hopefully, anyway. Let me just kind of swing and take a look at the uh, the times here. All right, yes, we are going to get behind those troops, which is awesome. Um, we're going to bring one of these guys this way. Go take that for me, please. Uh, and, I mean, we could just beeline over there to their uh, uh, victory point over here. Uh, where are... Okay, there's another victory point. How far away are these guys from capitulating? Very far. Okay, they are not... Have we not taken any victory points? Hmm, okay, I guess not. All right, let's uh, continue. We're going to just have the, the tanks beeline over here. Have these guys move that way. Um, don't want to attack across this river if we don't have to. We've got these troops surrounded now. That's good. Just go ahead and stay there, please. Um, and let's try and get these troops wiped out here. Um, well, we do need to bring those guys that way. Uh, everybody needs to get into one of these provinces here. We could just go ahead and actually launch an attack here. It's fine. So go and get these guys pushed back. Uh, and then we'll... No, we don't want to support with them. Uh, there's a river right here, so don't want to attack across that river. Uh, we're just going to wait a minute. Um, we can have these guys come this way, though. Attack, man. Uh, and then you guys are going to... Whoop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. You guys are going to attack right there. All right, awesome. Get this wrapped up over here. Um, and I suppose, since we're locking these troops down, we can now have the tanks move forward. Go ahead and continue uh, pushing them uh, behind enemy lines. Uh, we're winning right there as well. Let's let's go ahead and bring these tanks up this way. See if we can get these guys cut off here. Uh, it looks like they're attempting to get out of there. Um, when are they going to move? We got tanks coming, so I believe they should beat them. Yeah, they're definitely going to beat them. All right, so these tanks are going to come over here, and they'll be there in four hours. And we'll get those troops uh, wrapped up very, very soon. Excellent to see. They're attempting to attack us there. That's okay. You guys are going to come up over here. Um, come up this way. All right, looking good. Got all these guys surrounded. I don't know what these guys are doing. Hey, guys, sorry about the weird cut there, um, but I'm actually recording this on two separate days here. Um, the first part of this video here was recorded on Monday, you know, to be Monday's video. As you guys now know, uh, we didn't have a video on Monday. That's because when I was recording yesterday, uh, my wife informed me that I had to go pick the kids up. Uh, I wasn't uh, aware of that, so I hadn't, I hadn't planned for that. So I had to uh, end the recording, stop the recording so I could go do that because I was not ready at all to, to go do that. 
and uh, it was also I didn't have a whole lot of time before I had to go to work. So yeah, I wasn't able to finish the recording. Um, so we're gonna be picking it up today. Uh, that's also, like I said, why there wasn't a video on Monday. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and continue on. I, I watched the the first, I think it was like 13 something minutes or 14 minutes or something like that of a video. I rewatched that to see uh, uh, see where we're at here since it's a, a whole new day um, and yeah let's let's before we before we uh, get started here one thing I mentioned or I realized that I had not yet mentioned in that video was uh, Greece over here uh, a lot of people have been uh, several people like three or four people have been talking about wanting to give more land to Greece to give the the remaining cores Greek cores um, give that to them well that's not an option guys I don't I don't know what everybody's talking about everybody keeps saying that Greece has more cores but I was pretty sure that we gave them all the cores that that there was um, yeah there there is no other Greek cores here Constantinople is not a core people were saying that these provinces like on their borders are cores these are not these are not Greek cores either so yeah that's one thing I wanted to mention uh, in the beginning of yesterday's video or the, be the beginning of the, fi the first half of this video I should say um, but yeah this is uh there are no cores here uh, which is why they're not an option um, here in our managed occupied territories there's not an option to, to give that to them uh, so so yeah let's go ahead and get started guys um, yeah just sorry about that sorry about that they're not being a video and stuff but yeah yeah I couldn't leave my kids uh, for hearts of iron I'm, you know get the, you gotta have priorities here guys so I don't remember what we were all doing here but yeah let's go ahead and get these attacks going we got the, these troops here completely surrounded um, let's go ahead and also attack across this way might as well get all these troops moving here we're gonna attack that way as well okay excellent all right, pushing forward all the way across here. Um, awesome. And let's go ahead and continue moving. You know, we're going to, yeah, let's move these guys this way. And these ones will come up over here. All right, awesome. Uh, we can get this uh, unit here destroyed, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, once they get here, they will move over there. And why don't you guys come on over this way, get that. Uh, how many units are here? Three divisions. Three divisions completely wiped out there. Uh, let's go ahead and bring these guys across here. Might as well. And we're going to have these guys. You know what? There's actually no reason for them to go that way. It would make more sense to come up across the river here and attack. Or just completely surround that unit so we don't have to fight them all the way across the mountains here. That would work as well. So we were saving the uh, political power for something. That's right. We're working on the, uh, uh, the doctrine. We got mechanized offensive. Let's go ahead and move these troops over here to take all that. Uh, we're going to get these guys going over here. They're going to come up behind these divisions here, I think. Um, yeah, that's probably what we're going to end up doing with those fast tank units. Everybody should be assigned here. Seems that one of them is currently not. Who is it? It's this guy. This little lonesome guy over here. Let's get him assigned. Uh, so he'll start moving over there. And we also got mechanized offensive. So uh, I don't think we're going to get another land doctrine just yet. I think there's a lot of other stuff that we needed. Uh, there's something I, I remember needing to get here. I can't remember what it was now. Oh, now I remember. We need Marines, guys. If we want to attack Italy next, yeah, we need some Marines. I don't even know if we'll get these researched in time. So, yeah, that's what it was. I knew there was something. Just couldn't remember what the fuck it was. All right, so we're attacking across the river here against these troops. I didn't know there was anybody there. I don't think there was anybody there when I originally attacked. Let's go and get these tanks moving across here. Um, get them pushing forward. Uh, these guys should be there momentarily. Uh, yeah, we got some divisions here. What we'll do is get all the way behind them. Uh, we got this division coming up over here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and let them move. Okay, awesome. And then we're going to come up over here. We're going to take their uh, victory point over here. How are we doing on getting them? Hmm. Why are there only 3%? Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, this is not their territory. This is conquered territory. This is Armenian territory. That's the reason why uh, we're not affecting the, um, you know, them capitulating at all. So it seems that La Plata has declared war on Integralist Brazil. All right, very interesting. All right, I forgot to start my timer, too. Um, I think we have to record, like... 16 minutes or something like that to get to the to, to 30 so yeah this might be a little bit over um or a little bit short i don't know because <laughs> oh, i just started it now so hopefully i'll get that fixed i hate having to use this timer if you guys are always wondering oh why the fuck does he always forget to start his damn timer it's because i'm not used to using it guys i only have to use it for this game now um this is the only game i have to use it for because my uh recording software action does not work with hearts of iron still i have no idea why uh, i just stopped working with hearts of iron during a patch um, and it's never worked since. I, I don't have any idea why uh, it stopped working. I uh, got a patch for this this game and for uh, the uh, action, um, and then it just stopped. That's my recording software I use, and it just stopped working. And that's it has a little nice little timer and everything, so I have to use OBS now. Uh, so yeah, the Platinian War. Uh, after the Great South American War of the 1930s, two regional powers emerged in South America: Brazil and Argentina. The latter of whom later evolved from the Federation of La Plata. 
or, or evolved into the Federation of La Plata. Tensions between these two giants, former enemies in the war now turned rivals for South American domination, had been rising for years, and La Platan victory against Paraguay and Bolivia did little to ease them. The fragile peace in South America has finally been broken with the beginning of an outright war between the two countries, a war that the weakened U.S. will probably not be able to stop. While the Plotans are confident in their second victory, Brazilians are ready to achieve revenge for their defeat last time. Troubling development. All right, that's kind of cool. I read that just because it looked interesting. Uh, yeah, because there's this this war going on. It seems, hmm, all right, this seems the La Plata also have, yeah, Bolivians in their, uh, their faction. All right, so th this is the faction of these three countries. Remember that they're a puppet of them. Are they a puppet as well? I don't think so. No, they're just in their faction. Uh, so Brazil right now has is, is got quite a few enemies going against them. We'll have to see who wins there. Uh, we'll, we'll follow it. I love that South America has so much more attention in the, the mod than it does in, in Vanilla. Uh, you know, Vanilla doesn't, you know, obviously it's supposed to represent history, so that makes sense that there's not really a lot going on. Um, you know, with the, uh, you know, South American countries, but yeah, it's still, we're just going to have this kind of guy go just beeline towards the capital, because if we take the capital, then, uh, yeah, we'll be, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, oh, wow, well, yeah, what I was saying, if we take the capital, I believe we win, but look at this, guys, the French Republic has declared war on the French Kingdom, all right, so the French Republic is here, they are in the Entente, and the French Kingdom is a puppet of Germany, so it looks like the last two great factions that are still alive, um, are at war against each other. Uh, so the Entente, which, uh, does, we'll just kind of take a look at this here. Oh, that's ours, my bad. Uh, we want to take a look at the new war, uh, French-German war. Uh, that should be like the second French-German war or something like that, right? I don't know what the first one was called. Uh, so, yeah, we got the French Republic against Germany and French Kingdom, but you can see all the countries that can come into this. Uh, the entire Entente uh, is made up of Canada, Caribbean Federation, uh, India, Australasian uh, Confederation, which is Australia and New Zealand combined, and the Netherlands. And then, of course, we have all the German puppets and, and allies. So, yeah, this is a big war. I, I don't know. Actually, I do know who's going to win. I think the Germans are going to win this, guys. Uh, and I assume they're going to call their whole factions in. Uh, but yeah, that's crazy. Alright, so uh, it makes me wonder if we shouldn't attempt to, like, take advantage of that and, uh, I don't know, go to war with Germany before Spain? My bad, I clicked the wrong thing. Um, I, don't, I don't know, though. I don't know if that's the best option. Let's get the anti-tanks. Yeah, I really don't know if that, that would be the best option uh, to do. All right, let's, uh, what are we doing here? All right, we got these guys coming over this way. Should be taking that. Yeah, we're taking both of these provinces soon, actually. Uh, which means we might end up overrunning some. We're going to have the capital momentarily, though, so that's not going to be a problem. Let's go ahead and have you guys, why don't you come over here and start taking territory this way, uh, while you guys are going to go over this way. Awesome. Uh, and it seems that we are short some resources here. Okay, let's get that dealt with. Uh, we're short a whole ton of tungsten. Um, hmm. Seems that we can also bring up... Uh, yeah, let's go and get some from Greece, and let's see what else we want to do here. We could continue trading with Portugal, but I don't actually don't, I don't want to trade with Portugal anymore. I forgot they're going to be a future enemy. So let's go ahead and bring that down and trade with somebody else. We could trade with the Pacific States. Um, I think we're already trading with them a bit, but that's okay. We could also trade with India. Give India a little bit of love. Sure, why not? Let's uh, give India some love. Uh, give them some factories. Uh, it seems that we're trading for far too much, but that's okay. Whatever. Um, not going to mess with that too much. We also need some more steel. Who do we want to trade with to get this steel? I guess we'll trade with, um, we'll trade with Japan. Can we get enough? Yes, we can. All right, awesome. Uh, so, and that's the end. We just took the capital. Uh, they didn't have anybody defending it. And so now Armenia is ours. Uh, and well, all the, as well as all the territory that they conquered. So we could liberate the Ottoman Empire, but we don't want to do that because they'll be independent. Uh, instead, we'll wait till that event pops up. We're just gonna take all states here, and then we're gonna see what we can do with that Ottomans, um, because or Turkey or whatever. Because yeah, it's just it's been all messed up. Do th does anybody have? Okay, interesting. The Ottoman Empire, while they don't have claims on any of this territory, they do still have claims on this. So we could technically release them from here. Um, yeah, we could release the Ottoman Empire, but we wouldn't be able to give them this territory. So that's the concerning part. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to give them any of this, so we'd have that really ugly map gore. Because, yeah, they don't. Because the event's broken, so they don't have any cores over here. So, I, I don't know. Let's let the event pop up. See what happens. We'll see what happens when the event pops up, guys. Uh, because, yeah, I really don't. I don't really, really don't know how this is going to work out. Hopefully, the Arminia one pops up first, so Arminia can be a bit larger and, most importantly, have access to the coast. Uh, maybe we should just straight up release them. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I kind of feel like releasing Arminia to make sure that they um, get released first would be a good idea. Hmm. 
Yeah, because I want them to have access to the coast. If they just have this one province here, because uh, the Ottoman one pops up first, then it's going to mess things up. Uh, because the Ottomans have claims on this, so therefore I believe the Ottomans will get this territory. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but if they do get it, then the uh, uh, then they won't have access to the coast. All right, well, let's see what happens. We'll see which one pops up first. Uh, let's go ahead and get our, our units moving. Uh, we're going to move them. I guess we're going to start preparing for war with Italy, or, or with Spain, excuse me. Um, I, I'm tempted to go to war with Germany right now because, but I just, I don't think we're strong enough, guys. Let's just take a look at how, how strong Germany is. All right, so remember, we have currently have 82 divisions. Um, they have 154 to 551. Wow, that's some very wide numbers. But, yeah, they could possibly have two to three times the number, even four times as many divisions as we do. Yeah, that's concerning. Let's take a look at some of their puppets, or, or Ukraine's in their faction, and they have 100, 100, just Ukraine alone has almost as many divisions as we do. All right, so uh, the German faction is um, yeah, really, really powerful. Okay, uh, and how about these guys? All right, so I don't, wow, Ireland's got a ton of divisions. I don't, I don't think we should go to war with Germany yet. I think we still need to build up. Let's let them expend themselves a bit, lose some, uh, take some casualties, expend themselves against the uh, Entente. Um, I just, I would love to have them at war with the Entente at the same time as us. That would be really convenient. Uh, maybe Germany will get, or excuse me, maybe Russia will get involved in the war as well. We'll just have to see what happens there. Uh, let's move our troops over to this port. I think this would be the best port to probably do our invasion from. Remember, we're gonna have to launch a naval invasion. Uh, it's the only way to do this. Um, yeah, that'd probably be the best best way to do it. You know, it doesn't really matter if we go from our port or theirs, now that I think about it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's going to be the same amount of uh, sea regions, because uh, we don't have anything on here. Hmm. Okay, so we're probably going to want to go from one of our ports then. Might as well. Um, and we'll do it from one of the closer ones. We'll do it from this one here. I want you guys gone. This way. There we go. Railroads. Thank you. Uh, and then we're going to build that up a little bit. Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be huge or anything. Um, but I would like to have the, the naval base be slightly larger. Um, and then what else do we need to do here? Uh, we need to make sure that our... And the main reason why I want to move from our port is so that, you know, they they don't have to... The supply doesn't have to go as far. and doesn't have to go through all this area that we'd have to build up. Uh, so let's go and tick these down to the bottom. And yeah, we're going to start getting ready for our, our naval invasion. We don't even... We're not even close to having marines yet. Uh, and yeah, I guess we're just gonna wait for the uh, these things to pop up here. We can go and take our, our planes back. Give me these back. Don't need them over here any longer. And it looks like they did do the conquest of Anatolia. Um, let's try that. And then we're gonna liberate these guys. And yeah, they're only gonna get one. Damn it. All right, that sucks. Um, oh wait a minute, no, they got they got both of them. Because uh, yeah, the the. The Turks still didn't get their territory here. All right, well, I don't want to give it to them because it's going to look ugly um, as far as map gore. That's the main reason why. Everybody wanted me to conquer Armenia because they didn't like the way it looked here in Anatolia when it was split. Uh, and, yeah, that's it's still going to be split. So, uh, but one, one thing that would be beneficial uh, of taking that event would be that we could, uh, we wouldn't have that stupid... Uh, those events popping up anymore. Uh, what I'm trying to say is w w one thing that would be advantageous of releasing the Ottoman Empire here um, would be that we wouldn't get that event anymore uh, because that event is incredibly annoying. It just keeps on popping up. It's clearly broken. Um, very frustrating. Okay, so getting all, all our troops moving. There's really not anything for us to do right now. Um, we don't have... Uh, yeah, we can't... We need to justify a war goal, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, let's go ahead and get that started now. Uh, we'll just go towards Catalonia. Let me 27 political power this time. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. See, what I don't understand is why the amount of days and political power vary so much in the mod. Um, often in, in, in vanilla, I mean, it's mainly controlled by world tension, and world tension has been at 100% this whole time. But yeah, the times are always different, and the amount of political power that it costs is kind of changed a little bit. Uh, so we did get this national focus, which is awesome. All right, let's go and get reinforced the KK uh, Gebers Group Stroop. <laughs> Ger Geberg Stroop uh, or something like that. I'm probably tearing that up pronunciation-wise. But let's get that. We don't really need the mountain um, bonus just yet. But I really want that uh, organization. I think that would be helpful. Oh, yes, and now we can spend our political power. Uh, so let's go ahead and do so. What we're going to get, we were going to get the, um, yeah, the Phonix. Uh, this is going to be a very helpful. It's going to build up our heavy fighters and, and, our, and our regular fighters, give them some better stats there. So do we want to start planning the invasion with these troops here? Because we're probably not going to get Marines in time to have them do an invasion. No, we're just going to have to train them up and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to send, I don't think we did any of the invasion decks, did we? Nope, we didn't yet. That's something we're going to need to do um, with our... Our, 
uh, whenever we unlock something here. Oops, my bad. Um, close. All right, yeah, we need to get some invasion decks. Do have we? Are we far enough? Yes, we are. So we can unlock this. Um, yeah, we're gonna need to do that as soon as we get a uh, a tech slot open. So let's go ahead and get. Um, what is it, eight divisions, ten divisions? I don't remember how many we can send here on the base one. Uh, we're gonna send just some regular infantry, probably. I suppose we can send some uh, uh, some of the mountain troops as well. So let's get some mountain troops going. Uh, we'll get uh, maybe maybe two mountain troops, and then we'll get some uh, infantry guys as well. Uh, let's go with uh, let's do let's do. Oops, I don't want any tanks. Uh, let's do six, I think, or eight. We'll do eight. I think I'm pretty sure we can send eight. All right, so let's go and give them a naval invasion. They're gonna be launching it from here, and where are we gonna invade? Uh, we do Barcelona. I think that would probably be the best location. We could also invade this island here as well. Um, yeah, that's a possibility, too. They wouldn't have to go as far, but yeah, I don't... Hmm. That would have to require a whole new naval invasion. I don't really want to do it that way. Let's let's invade Barcelona. What we could do is just have a, a second invasion invade that island. Um, that would work as well, though. I don't know how much we're actually able to invade here. Uh, how many uh, units we're going to be able to send. All right, let's send some of these guys that don't have... Uh, invasion orders. Uh, we're gonna be sending probably just like three of them, I think. That's, I think that's probably all, all that we're going to to need. That sounds about right. Um, three, three, three. Where's another one? We will send. I'm trying to. If you guys don't can't tell here, I'm trying to send like low, um, the lower experience ones, since you know they do take casualties, um, you know, in, in the naval invasions. So let's move these guys, and then we're going to attempt to launch an invasion from here. I don't know how much invasion uh, space we still have. Uh, we're going to be launching it into this island here. All right, excellent. Um, and, yeah, they're going to be going along the same branch here. Uh, and it seems that, for whatever reason, it's all messed up here. All right, well, I'm not entirely sure why I'm saying that's not a valid province. Um, yeah, and it won't let me assign any units to it either. Okay. Um, we'll try and... Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, okay. I see. We have too many units. Got it. All right, what we'll do, just take two of them and assign them. All right, so that should fix it. Uh, the fall of Beijing. Oh, shit. Beijing has finally fallen. Um, they've been fighting over this for quite some time. Uh, it looks like um, Japan has finally pushed into here. All right, yeah. All right, well, that's, that's a good thing. I, I don't know if that's because Germany pulled troops out, maybe to deal with the conflict in Europe here. That's a possibility. Uh, I really don't know, uh, but it's a good thing. All right, so, yeah, we can do 10. I was thinking it might have been 10. Um, eight or ten divisions. So we also have our navy over here that's kind of building up nicely. Not doing too bad here. Uh, we currently have uh, 55 in our main navy. Our submarines, on the other hand, have 19. Okay, so yeah, really starting to build the uh, the fleets up. Still a pretty small navy, but I believe the um, Germans have lost all their ships. So yeah, I think we might actually be able to dominate the seas. As interesting as that sounds, I didn't think that that would be the case. But yeah, I think we'll be able to dominate the seas against um, against the German faction. We'll just have to see what happens here. It looks like there is an invasion over here as well. The French Republic has invaded into uh, um, England here. Uh, so yeah, they might get this all conquered. Let's see what else is going on here in the war and the conflict. Oh, we got dust over here. Wow, it's quite the sandstorm. Okay, um, so yeah, this looks like the main conflict is going to be up along here. Remember, the French Republic here is going to have to fight the Italians on this side, and then the rest of the faction probably be coming down from the French Kingdom. So I, I would not be surprised if the, the French end up losing here. I think they probably will will lose here, uh, and their capital is in Marseille. So. Yeah, they're, they're pretty close to the Italian border. They're probably going to lose pretty soon here. So we just got our approved artillery. We also want to check to see if all these guys are trained up. They are. Uh, let's go ahead and get them pulled out. And we're probably going to be sending a lot of these guys in their own little army here. Over to here, I think. Um, create a new army um, that we'll, we'll send them. Because we're probably going to need two armies in Spain, I believe. We're going to need a very large army in Spain. I can tell you that right now. Uh, do we want to send anybody over to here? I know that these aren't exactly the largest borders here. I'm hoping not to go to war with Germany anytime soon, though. So... One thing we're gonna do is let's just yeah let's just bring all these guys out. We won't even put them into a new army or anything. We're just gonna bring them over to here right now, um, into that province, or is it this one? Oh, I want them going over to that province. Excuse me, over to here. There we go. We're just gonna move them over there for right now. They don't need to be an army or anything. Uh, they're not gonna be doing naval invasion. We're only gonna have one army doing the naval invasions. Uh, so what do we want to get next? We just got the artillery. Um, we are in 1942, so we could get the next one. Uh, however, I think we need to go down the advanced computing machine. Um, and then there's something else that we also said that we needed. We need the naval invasion thing. Huh. Yeah, I guess we'll have to get that first. We need that. Yeah, that'd be wise. Uh, I'd, we obviously, we're probably not gonna get it in time for the invasion. Uh, when do we get our justification here 12th of April 
All right, so we're looking about four months uh, before we finish that up. Okay, uh, time is running low on the episode, I believe, as well. Um, actually, I think it's probably time to end because I forgot that we uh, we forgot to start our timer. All right, we're going to let it go like another minute, try and make a little bit of progress here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to end it soon. Uh, troops training up. We got our airborne troops training. Nice. Yeah, that's fantastic. You know what I realized? We don't have any transport planes. Nope. No, we don't. All right, so we also need to get something going there. The Netherlands has capitulated. They've already been defeated. They're part of the Entente. Not surprising. Uh, very concerning, though. Very concerning. Let's go and get the transport planes going. We're going to need these. Let's take them up to the bottom of our airplane lines. Uh, and we're going to need to pull from... Well, we already have a lot of factories assigned over here. Uh, so we're going to have to wait just a second. Actually, let's just go ahead and... We're going to pull like so, and then we'll get these guys going like that. There we go. Just make sure that we have some transport planes getting built up. Uh, we're not going to do... Probably not going to be doing any naval invasions. Or, uh, excuse me, any airdrops in Spain. I don't think so, anyway. Alright, excellent. So, um... Do we have these guys trained up yet? No, we don't. And I believe there's something else I was supposed to do, but I've already forgotten. It's too late. It's gone, guys. My mind has lost it. All right, so we did get the uh, logistics here. Um, we're in 1942, so we could keep moving down here. But instead, we're going to go ahead and get the advanced computing machines. I really want to get that going. All right, guys, so um, Italy's got some invasions uh, that they're suffering from. They have the French Republic invading here. And then uh, Genoa is being invaded by somebody. I can't tell who. Um, Canada. All right, so the Canadians invaded. So, yeah, Italy always has trouble defending their whole coastline because there's so much of it uh, maybe Italy will get knocked out of the war and that'll really hurt uh, the German faction all right so let's go ahead and end the episode guys uh, it's very interesting seeing this whole war going uh, here in about four months uh, we're gonna be invading Spain uh, which will be really exciting um, they'll probably be the hardest faction we fought because it's two two countries here um, so that should be the toughest fight plus it's a naval invasion uh, they have hard terrain as well uh, but yeah we're invading here because I mean, could have invaded here Valencia as well that would have been a possibility but then we would have had to go north so it's just easier to go this way and then kind of march across here and try and take territory uh, after we take their capital in Madrid I believe they should capitulate um, no they have 90% national union never mind we're gonna have to take over most of the country and it doesn't matter anyway because we got to go through their territory just to get to uh, Portugal all right so we're gonna try and get both of those guys into our faction uh, should be pretty exciting I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and thanks for watching, guys.